My dad was a geologist, and, and uh, when painting, you're following the rocks and the lay of the land, and um, that's that's pretty fascinating too to pay attention to the the footing under underneath. Everything growing is influenced by the wind, like the the pine trees, for instance. It's it's a lot easier to express the conditions when there's a lot of uh, living things that are have responded while they were growing. I'm Kathy Haycock and I'm a plein air artist. I like doing wilderness landscapes. Uh, but most of my painting is done outside. A lot of it right around here, which is the Eganville area where my studio is. And a lot of it is done all across Canada and in the United States and the high north and Greenland too. My sister started me. She came up with a box of paints and uh, said, sit down, this is what you do. And uh, after I did that first painting, I was like hooked. <laughs> it just felt so good, like a, like a surge of uh, pleasure. And I had to go paint another one. And then I just kept on from there. I suppose that could happen to any artist anywhere. I, I think it does. But uh, I think the Madawaska Valley is particularly rich in uh, creative inspiration because uh, it has such a variety of the seasons and the different geography and uh, the, the wilderness and the old farms and the, the different kinds of activities. And it's very well-rounded and creative place to live. When my dad would come up here and go painting, I would tag along and watch, and <laughs> take, uh, take it all in and see his interpretation and be kind of interested, but I never started painting yet. So after I did start painting, I would go back, I have gone back to some of those places and uh, enjoyed painting there and thinking about them, like um, not only the scene, but memories of my dad, which is kind of nice and very special. I'm always looking for places to paint, and I do see a lot of them when we're out riding. But chalk it up uh, on the list of places to come back to. Lots of uh, lookouts that you can see quite a distance, and lots of little close uh, sparkling lakes and openings. Old farms, that's interesting too. Like a little piece of history to look at. I really love the Madawaska Valley a lot more since I started painting because I see so much more beauty in it. It's, I really respect it a lot more too as a not so much wilderness but near wilderness. There's uh, endless opportunities like the uh, forest and water and rocks. 
Uh, and uh, a little farther away, there's uh, like big rivers and like mountains. And, but right around here, like you don't have to really go very far to find endless material to paint. It's very pretty around here. <laughs> Chris Hinsberger. We are here on location at the Bonnishare Caves. I am the co-owner, uh, head tour guide, maintenance guy, marketing director, and head of all things Bonnishare Caves. Geology directly connects us to the earth and it has a great effect on what we do for a living. Are we farmers? Are we hunters? Are we gatherers of berries? Uh, are we, are, do we mine? It affects our lifestyle. And it's the arts that capture that lifestyle, that share it with people all over the world. Um, yeah, we're very fortunate to live here in the Madawaska Valley, in the Bolcher Valley. It's our way of life. And it builds our character and it makes us the people who we are.